It's nice enough to walk home. Beverly, hello. Look at this beautiful day out. Hi, Scally. Hey, Lisa. Oh, I have trouble reading. Bethy. Michael, hi. Happy Friday, everybody. Woo, sister. Finally warm enough to walk. It's almost 70. Hi, Rock. Japan. Japan is in the house. Oh, I wish you all were here too. New York misses everybody. Hey, Michael. All this traffic. Oh, yeah. This is rush hour. Actually, rush hour starts at like 3. Uh, it is still cold. I still have a scarf and a coat on, but it's like 70 almost. You don't miss New York. Hey, Aleph. Um, it's okay, Bethy. I'm hanging in there. I'm still, my mom passed away in January, so I'm so sad still. It's very hard. Hey, Sil. New Zealand. Oh, I know. I don't know what's wrong with the busiest men in the world. Sending my thank you. Oh, I'm walking on the wrong side of the street. <laughs> uh, I'm so glad. We really love New York, too. Although they say it takes about seven years of living here to see if you really love it or really don't love it. That's Grimaldi's pizza place. And my... Um, I'm really surprised. Uh, I had a friend in Syracuse, Grimaldi's. Mmm. Food. Hey, Seva. I'm having trouble reading the tiny print, so if I mess up your name, I'm sorry. We are on 6th Avenue, by the way, and 20th Street. And we're walking, as long as I have enough energy in my phone and enough space, we're gonna walk all the way to the East Village. Hey, Yumi. Welcome, Choi, to, uh, to uh, Periscope. Okay, that store over there is one of my favorite stores in the whole city. See how long it takes you to miss New York? They're two years now. You know, it's so funny because New York is always here, but once you don't live here, it's hard to understand why anybody would live here. Hey, Duval. Oh, I'm glad. I love to do walking scopes. I haven't done any in a long time. Or any scopes. Because it was cold, I was sad, too busy. Hey, Ken. Is that Ken? Or Ken? Let's see. Yes, Ken. You ever see the rope tying? Um, Accounting. I'm in New York City. Yes. Aw, I miss you too, Beth. Hi, Lake. I miss you all very much. It's nice to be back. But honestly, it's really uh, frustrating because they really only let you save. Um, a certain number of scopes so every single time I do a new scope I'm deleting one of my really old early ones which makes me super sad where have I been hi big boy hi Hoyer. I've been here in New York but I had a really tough winter my mom got uh, finally really sick and she died and this is um, the west side yes Sixth Avenue and Chelsea and also because I'm working so much. Hey, Ray. Tarzan. Texas in the house. Thank you. How are you, Ray? Uh, thanks, guys. I'm still just not totally realizing it. I, I was very involved with her care. 
miss you too. Welcome, ATC, to Periscope. But yeah, we're walking down towards the West Village from Chelsea. And then we'll go take a left and walk. Not art. This poor dead tree. Hey, carpet. Lolly! How are you? Lincoln! How are you guys? What am I gonna do? Why doesn't why don't they let you keep as many scopes as you wanna keep? <laughs> I know it's been so long. Uh hot dog stands? Well we just passed one actually. They're carts. They have big carts. And they're very regulated, the food cart industry in New York. So probably a lot of um hey I can a lot of the less reputable ones probably got pushed out just by virtue of the regulations they have to make now. Oh my gosh, thanks for all the hearts, you guys. So, it's so nice. If you have a computer, I can save my scopes there, but my computer's always got no room on it. There's never any room on my iMac or my iPhone. I have too many pictures, I think. I'm not of the um, age group that understands all the technology. <laughs> so, uh, hey, search. You're Searching. So, so, something that's very simple for someone in their 20s for me is pretty much impossible. Where did the biggest rats live? The biggest rats live right down there and they also live right down there and they also live right over there and they also live right in there <laughs> guten tag germany there's giant rats everywhere in new york city it's just a fact of life if you walk around at night is when you see them look they're down there too <laughs> spanish harlem they have big rats up there, but I'm telling you, there are big rats everywhere. Everywhere. Oh, thanks, Lincoln. Hey, big boy. So, yes, it's probably been almost a year since I've done a real walking scope because the pinned tweet that said I was making a new Twitter account so I could keep my scopes was a year ago. What's up? Always deserve the hearts. Oh, gracias. What currency do they... What country do they eat rats? I think any country where they have lot, not a lot of food. I know that in France, they don't have a lot of wild animals anywhere. Because France was occupied so many different times by so many different invading armies that like there's no pigeons or squirrels or and I only know that Vietnam Mexico. I had a French uh, boyfriend who came to visit here and he just couldn't stop taking pictures of the squirrels twice oh lovely wow I've been to New York City every day <laughs> for years, 26 of them. Hi, Jones. Yeah, I've been here a long time. However, there's rumblings and tumblings of me maybe getting out of here. How are you, Jones? We'll see. I feel like it's time for a life change. So you see this big tower down there? That is a library now. I'm good, thanks. I'm happy to, that it's nice enough for people to sit outside. Look at that. Yay, outside, warm summer air. Oh, I'm sorry if I missed that. Also, in general, I apologize if I miss anybody's comment or the fact that they joined in. Sometimes I have to keep my eyes open so I don't fall 
If it's a select bus, you can get on in the back. Look, it's an army pattern car. Somebody bought a lot of wine. Oh, I'm sorry, I missed that too. <laughs> I'm sorry. Should be looking what you guys are saying. Yeah, here they make good rat soup in Mexico. Yeah, I mean, basically it's a rodent, so if you eat... People eat frogs and rabbits. Rabbits are rodents. The problem, ro the rats are just perceived as so disgusting because they live in the sewer. I mean, basically squirrels are just rats that live in trees, but they have a big puffy tail and they look pretty. So people feed them in the parks. And actually in any of the New York City parks, if you go stand there and you just do this, you'll have squirrels running up to you because they think you'll have something. Hey, Mal. I would eat if I was starving. On the first Survivor, the guy ate a rat. Remember that? <laughs> I think if you're starving, you'll eat about anything. But I think what's more distressing than lack of food is lack of water. And the minute there's a restriction in water, all you can do is think about is drinking water. This whole place is totally full. It's so nice. Oh, look, you can see me way down there in that mirror. Hello. Oh, you can't really see. Ooh, there I am a little bit. I'll find a mirror. I'm wearing a really short skirt today. <laughs> I don't do that often, but today I did. No. Supermarket around here? I don't think so. I mean, there must be, but I don't shop on this side of town. Um, there's, I know there's a supermarket on, Whole, uh, there's Whole Foods on, I know, I'm trying to find a mirror. There. There's, you can, it's not really a mirror, but. Hi, everybody. A short little skirt. It was the weather. I had to do it. And then I could have worked till nine o'clock tonight, but I didn't. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, Ahmed. Hello, Glow. Look at that big old dog. Big puffy, puffy tail dog. So yeah, that's a library now. I think it used to be a courthouse. Once upon a time, I went, oh yeah, went over and looked at a plaque. Sawyer Fredericks. Oh, good. Hey, Bear. How are you, Ken? I didn't see you joined. It's really hard for me to read. Yeah, it's a really beautiful building. Imagine that was your house, and you just, like, would go up there in the morning, and... Hi, oh, little puppy. But, yeah. yeah. I've been singing that song in my head all day. If I had a million dollars, I'd be rich. <laughs> hey, five five. But that's the only line I remember. It's a pair of where it walks around Paris all day. She's rich, Rapunzel's Tower. Uh-oh, too hot. Just eat some oranges. Hey, Mustafa. Too big to clean. <laughs> hey, Roma. When I lived in Mexico, that's where I learned that if you eat an orange right after a hot pepper, it neutralizes it. <laughs> a family, a Mayan family I was living with had an orange tree outside their house and that's what they did all day Sunday. <laughs> I joined them with the beer and the oranges, but not the hot pepper. I tried one once, I was like, okay, that's enough for me. Dunkin' Donuts, I thought they were changing their name. Maybe it's too expensive to change all the signs. Oh, good to know, yeah. Zip, zip. So now we are entering what's called the West Village. If you go down that way, that's exactly where I was born down there. There's an old hospital called St. Vincent's. Just to Dunkin', yeah. But that sign still said Dunkin' Donuts. But honestly, I think every store is a um, 
franchise. Look, this is called Craft Services. That means there's a movie being filmed somewhere around here. And here's the movie truck. There's the movie wires. That's the generator truck. <laughs> hey, hey. There's all the equipment. I was in a mo the movie with Barbara Streisand. And the grip guys were like, she has enough duplicate equipment here for us to film a whole second movie. You were born in Beth Israel. Oh, goodness, fellow New Yorker. Who is that? Ray. Tarzan, you were? Wow. Right across town. Oh my gosh, this used to be a um, drugstore. I forget which one, CVS. Or... It used to be the only 24-hour one in walking distance. And I remember walking here and I had my German Shepherd and they wouldn't let me in the store with him and it was like two in the morning or something. And I yelled at the guard. <laughs> they still made me leave the dog out front. I was like, I can't leave my dog out front. I walked all the way here from the East Village. And we always let us have the dogs in the store. Where's Spidey? What am I gonna eat tonight? I don't know, but I went out for lunch to Outback. I had a big cheeseburger with fries, so not really hungry. I have soup at home. You should all visit me. Yes, I do visit people. If you, I do meet with people if you visit New York. You just have to let me know when. And um, I can give you insider tours of the city. And look at that pretty. Oh, it's for sale. If I had a million dollars, I'd be rich. And this probably costs about eight million. So I couldn't, not rich enough. Yeah, please do. I usually meet people for a drink, or if you don't drink, we can meet for coffee. But, um,. Everyone's like, aren't you worried of meeting strangers on the internet? And I'm like, oh my gosh, I live in New York City. Every time I leave the house, people see me. <laughs> and 99.99% of the people who see me every day are strangers. What websites can I recommend for rentals? Um, my friends have been staying at Airbnbs right in like Hoboken, across the river in New Jersey. And there's Airbnbs in the city. Hey, crazy boy. All right, here's Washington Square Park, which should be sort of busy on such a beautiful day. I think one of the last scopes I did, I was coming through here. Hey, Julian. Yay. So happy to be walking outside. So dog run that used to be over here is now on the other side. And somebody just told me this used to be a cemetery and there's 20,000 bodies buried underneath us. Jean, have I been to Kazakhstan? No. No, I have not. I have not been to any of the Istans. I've been to Egypt, though. Tonight, Netflix, chill or party. Tonight is home. Yeah, I have work to do. It's the coolest place in New York City no one knows about. Um, most tourists do not know about the East Village. They spend most of their time in Midtown, which is tragic. But the East Village, there's a square of streets from like 2nd Avenue and Houston to like 11th Street, and then over to Avenue B. It's like a rectangle of streets that's filled with restaurants and bars and little shops and it's low buildings. That's why they call it the village. In this part of town, on this West Village side too, the bedrock isn't strong enough for super tall skyscrapers. So if you look at the skyline, they have really tall skyscrapers downtown and uptown and midtown, I mean. But where we are is all low because the bedrock isn't strong enough. We were filtering with lots of nice weather. What's 
sounds like Bob Dylan. Yay, I'm so glad to be here. There's the Washington Arch. So through it, you'll see the Empire State Building, and on this side is the um, on this side is the World Financial Center down there. It's actually much lighter out than this is showing. I think because the sky is so bright, it makes everything else look so dark. NYU is around here. Yes, absolutely. It's where people just hang out. Sometimes people do performances in the middle. Oh yeah, there's somebody doing a performance. Have you been to Gordon Ramsay restaurant? I have been to Gordon Ramsay in Atlantic City, but my fancy favorites here in New York are um, Lucien for French food. It's to hang back here. Hey, Smitty. Here's the Empire State Building up here. Hi, Sam. Long time. I don't think this guy is really um, with the drummer. He's just somebody like on drugs running around. <laughs> <laughs> the drummer looks like he's playing a, um, ooh, almost walked all over this guy's art. Please don't step on me. Methods rock. <laughs> There's kids playing soccer, football for you Europeans. And so now we're heading through the park to the West East Village. But I promise you, once like it gets nice out like this, New Yorkers are just bouncing out of their apartments. No kites? No, there's not enough room. To, I guess there's room to do a kite, but I've never seen a kite being flown in here, actually. And we don't have flowers yet, but we will soon. Here's Garibaldi's statue. Does everybody know who Giuseppe Garibaldi was? Everybody, everybody. History quiz. Whoa. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. He was going to jump over this barrel. Let's stay out of his way. <laughs> Daily prayer scope. Good. Temperature is like 70. Ooh. Cuidado. I messed up his other run. He can't, he can't be totally blamed. But do you all know who Garibaldi was? By the way, oh, here's another one. They're still learning. Hey, Bear. Garibaldi was somebody who wanted to liberate um, uh, Italy. Tragedy. He had the red shirts, and they all ran out. Got. He wanted to put in still democracy and he got run out of Italy I don't think he ever returned but um, he tried to get up support but he was an Italian war hero fighting for democracy like George Washington okay here we go let's see ooh good job during the papal states I don't have Facebook, no. I finally figured out a, um, ooh, nice. I finally figured out Instagram. Nice. All right. Let me get going on my road. Because in fact, the reason why I'm not working till nine o'clock tonight is because I have another cat which was my mother's and I've been keeping them separated during the day and they finally no mood for fun to be 18 George Washington slave owner yeah I know he was um, parameters were kind of fucked up back then here look watch
they're not, I'm not doing the right call. <laughs> uh, anyway, today is the very first day I let them be in the apartment alone together without a closed door between them. 48 people die. I know. Oh my gosh. Martha loved George, but George loved Sally Fairfax. That's another dirty secret they don't teach you in grammar school. <laughs> New Zealand, oh my god. I can't understand how men should do these things. They come up with some idea in their head, and then they go and actually shoot living, actual people because of something in their head. George got her up. You're in the region? Oh no, I'm so sorry. Actually, let's go this way. This is NYU still. It is so sad because if there was some like, what is it, um, mind melding of the human species, you would be able to see, oh, this person actually does want to take over the whole planet and kill everybody who's not part of their religion. And this person doesn't feel that way. And this person actually has a gun in their glove compartment and they're getting ready to go make a massacre. But we don't have that mental communication. So people just take a broad brush and call all, everybody, everything. You know, to shock a New Zealand. Absolutely, well, not anymore. I'm sure they're not going to be so trusting and naive anymore. And that's the, the sad part about these terrorist attacks. And like I was right next to the World Trade Centers when they were taken down by a handful of men. And history, uh, you know, as Australian would move there. Yeah. I mean, and this is the thing the Australians all pushed out the indigenous peoples. Uh, it's, uh, it's really crazy. New Zealand is going to tighten security, right? That's what you have to do. But um, what it boils down to is no matter what kind of security you do, no matter what kind of laws you make, if you can't change the insides of men's heads, it's going to keep happening. Somebody can take a machete. Remember that priest who had his head decapitated in France? You don't need a gun to be a terrorist. So it's it's the men the men's m mindset that has to evolve out of tribal patterning. Hi. <laughs> when comes the Brexit? Oh yeah, you guys are brexiting. Although I guess not anymore, right? You have to f agree to some plan, and nobody's agreeing. Somebody said the only way humanity's gonna coalesce as a one tribe existence is if we get attacked by aliens, we buy plastic guns online, put them together, no license required, yeah. They have the ones that you can make with um, 3D printers. It's totally nuts. So basically, unless you get rid of everything sharp in the world, you can still have attacks. So it's not a fun, I know it's like there is restrictions that need to be held on guns, but that is not going to stop terrorism because, like I'm saying, it's the men. CVS! <laughs> yeah, it's over there. Actually, I have to go there, but I'm nervous about the cat. I'm hoping I don't go home to a bloody scene. They haven't been fighting much when I'm there, but they've never been alone all these hours before, so I hope they didn't fight today. So it's the mentality that has to change, really. The mentality. It's a feeling problem, not a thing problem. Yeah. I mean, if you cannot change someone's brain patterning, they're going to do whatever they're going to do. I'm 
absolutely. If you can bend all your energies towards goodness, then you should. But you're you're uh, you're it's, you're still gonna have men. Most of them are probably sexually frustrated and they can't get laid, and then they have to redirect their directions into fighting, basically. Uh, I know. I'd like to start. Don't wait. Um, I want to do daily walks again. I'm just sad my old scopes are being deleted every time I do it. So the CVS is down there, Sam. <laughs> Sam, I am. Did you ever read um, Dr. Seuss? Don't keep you hanging for what? Oh, for the morning. Men have stronger needs than sex. The shooters are usually losers. I know. But they are losers who don't have a partner or a mate or somebody to go home to and complain about the guy at work. So they just bundle everything up into this boil of hate that pops and just hurts people somewhere. I mean... It's the basic weirdest problem. Human beings are only the only animal that the sex drives of the male and the female do not match. So, I know the morning walk, I have to. Now that it's nicer out, maybe I can start walking all the way to work again, but then you won't see the um, CVS. I hate guns. I know, but do you hate knives? And rocks? And hatchets and didn't those kids just use a hatchet in that school I mean it's it's the my point is that it has to be an internal mental change that happens to men what about the girl that attacked the paper and CA yeah there are very some there are every once in a while there's a woman but 98% of the terrorists are men and some of them are doing it for religious reasons, some for nationalistic reasons, some in their head, that's what they're doing it for. But both sides, I think, boil down to them not getting sex <laughs> or being abused as a child or something. Hate violence. Free sex. <laughs> Free sex, they should be some, some, they shouldn't make prostitution illegal for one. If you know if women want to do that, they should be able to do it in a safe, free way, like they do in Las Vegas uh, or Nevada or something. But um, that's just my personal theory about why there's so much male violence. You guys have testosterone, and you can't. You just—it's just what the, different needs. Prostitution is legal in New Zealand. Oh, that's interesting. So maybe my theory is not really working. Maybe he had no money. <laughs> Jane is so switch on today. I haven't talked to you all in so long. Here's the 4th Street Co-op. This means you can go in and buy stuff for cheap, or if you want to join the co-op, you get it even cheaper. But joining the co-op means you have to stand be work in there for one day a week or something. In Amsterdam, Everything's legal, right? Drugs and um, prostitution. So, I don't know. I just think when you put restrictions on things or something that is a basic human desire and it's so hard to get, watching ancient aliens and my scope. <laughs> I'm telling you, it is one of the only ways where humanity is going to stop all of these like in the fighting I read a lot of science fiction was that kissing probably were people kissing yeah people kiss in the t all the time they're allowed it's New York we can do what we want here as long as you don't hurt yourself or others or get in the way like if I stood right in that guy's path <laughs> That would not be great. All right, so I'm coming to my uh, sign-off point, so let me flip the camera. 
so you can see my and I don't even know what it looks like but here we go I have no lipstick take a warning hi look at my big ring <laughs> I had an ex who was a jeweler, and he's like, the ring can never be too big or too sparkly. So, listen, have a great weekend, everybody. And um, thank you for joining in. Thank you, all the replay f people. And I can't wait to be scoping on a regular basis. And um, sorry if I missed anything or anybody. Again, it was not on purpose. Look, talking menstrual, equality, period, equity. <laughs> so have fun. Bye, everybody. Thanks for joining, and I'll see you soon. Ciao. Au revoir. Merci tout le monde. A bientôt.